how's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and it's time for a Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video here. I hope you guys like the new overlay that I made. If you don't like it for whatever reason, let me know. I can always go back and change it. But this was a fantastic battle that I had with a passerby. I wanted to try out Choice Best Mesprit because I haven't used a Mesprit before in competitive battling. I have a Choice Band Sinchino there. I wasn't sure how useful that would be, but I just brought it. We'll see how it goes in this battle. I pair up Scizor with Venusaur. Yes, there is a fire type weakness, and that's why I brought Gastrodon to this battle as well, because Gastrodon, while being a water type Pokemon, is a bulky one too, so I can sponge physical moves and those fire type moves that are aimed at Scizor and Venusaur. Last but not least, we have a shiny Scrafty. A shiny Scrafty there. Yes, I I was in part of the Wonder Trade Wednesday a couple of times. Wonder Trade Wednesday offers people to get some rare Pokemon if you're lucky enough. And luckily for me, I got some shiny Pokemon and a couple of legendaries. So expect a couple of those in my near future uploads. Alright, so starting off the match, I begin with my specs. Mass Brit, I didn't want to stay in on the Forges because Forges is a specially defensive Pokemon. So the special moves will not be doing very much to it. Now it's a good idea to go into my Scizor and I could have gone for a Bullet Punch to offer some damage to the Hariyama here switching in, but I expected him to switch out. So this offers me a plus two modifier to my attacking stat and after that boost, that bullet punch almost KOs the Hariyama, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, dynamic punch almost KOs my Scizor. I have to keep Scizor alive just for the forges in the future of this video. So, expecting a physical move coming from the shiny Crobat, I go into Gastrodon here. Gastrodon is max HP, max defense, and I gave it a little bit of special attack EVs so that way I can have Scald do some damage. So I was actually, I actually predicted him to switch out, which is why I went into Venusaur like that. That was a misplay on my part. Had I stayed in, I would have gotten to use the move Counter. For those who don't know, Counter is a very unique move that will take any physical move, just physical moves, not special moves, but physical moves when a Pokemon uses it on a Pokemon that has Counter, Counter will bounce off those attacks. Yes, it will do damage to the opposing Pokemon, but Counter will take that damage double to that Pokemon that I was using the physical moves. For example, if I went for the switch out into Gastrodon and it used, say, Poison Fang, then if I use Counter on it, then it'll do double the damage back to it. Unfortunately, we're not going to be using Counter this battle. That's a shame. But maybe we'll give it a shot in the future. Yes, that is going to happen. Now, if you saw, Venusaur used the move Leech Seed, which will get rid of Crobat's HP while restoring my health in return. Combine that with Leftovers, that's a great strategy because you restore more health than you would otherwise, if I can have the Leech Seed up. So, yes, like I said, we're not going to be using the move counter, my optimal play was to go for a Scald, and I'm able to take care of the Crobat, which is fine with me. We have an issue with the Alakazam Mega evolving in my face, I wanted to keep him honest. If he, if he had Substitute, then I had to see it, but he has a 4 times super effective Energy Ball for my Gastrodon. That is good information to know. I, I really should have just switched out into Hagen 
the shiny Scotty that I got from Wondershade. But I now have to be wary of the Dazzling Gleam, which is super effective against Scrafty. So expecting that move, we're going to go back into Venusaur to pretty much take it. And this is great knowledge, because now I know, okay, he has Psychic, he has Energy Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. Those are the three out of the four moves that you can have on a Pokemon in a match. And we just reveal three of them, so... We'll see what other move he has there. Unfortunately, yes, Venusaur goes down, but not really in vain, because we're going to go into Sinchino. Surprisingly, I'll speed it. I'm not really sure how, because I... For one thing, I'm not scarfed, because I know that Sinchino is pretty fast without a scarf. So maybe he does not have max speed on his Mega Alakazam. That's fine with me. We're able to go with the Tail Slap, hit five of those actually, and take care of that Mega Alakazam. Now we have to face Exeggutor. Exeggutor is a Pokemon that I have never really faced in competitive battling. It's not really useful, but hey, it's a nice change of pace when you're facing someone, I guess. I don't know. Here, I forget all about Exeggutor being part Psychic. Using Psychic on uh, Psychic-type Pokemon. Yeah, not very useful there, isn't it? So, unfortunately, I have to sacrifice someone. Sorry, Sinchino. Had I realized that Exeggutor was a Psychic-type Pokemon, I really should have gone for an Ice Beam because Ice-type moves would be very effective against Executor, who's also part grass, a grass second type Pokemon. I figured that he might switch out, which is why I went for a Dragon Dance with Hagon here. That's the nickname that I got for the Scrafty, and I am able to go with that plus one crunch. Super effective, and we're going to take care of the Executor. The, the ability Mossy will boost up your attack stat if I take care of a Pokemon. And it works out really well. So here, I wanted to see how much a resisted high jump kick would do to the forges. I don't KO it, but I was almost able to, which is fantastic. Really good damage output. But like I said, I wanted to keep Scizor alive just for this very reason. I have the bullet punch to hit the forges with, and we're going to KO the forges. His last Pokemon is going to be Glade, which I haven't seen in this entire fight. Now, Glade is a little bit frail there, so going for a Bullet Punch, which which has priority by the way, so I can attack first. If he is faster, I can go first. And I do a good amount to it. Unfortunately, he really shouldn't have gone for a close combat right there. The reason is because close combat will lower your defense. So a psychic will KO the leg there. I'm not really sure because I have choice specs on the mask bit which boosts up your special moves by 30%. But we're able to take care of the leg there and that's going to be the end of that amazing Wi-Fi battle video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and then I'm sure I'll have a new upload coming out next week. Be on the lookout for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular upload. And then stay tuned for battle number 33 coming out next week. Alright, goodbye trainers.